119 kilograms. Professional record, 58 fights. 51 victories, including 45 knockouts. 30 knockouts in the very first round, and he holds a victory over the legendary George Foreman. From Brooklyn, New York, the challenger, former linear heavyweight world champion, former WBO heavyweight world champion, Shannon, the Cannon. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing black and gold, official weight, 114 kilograms. Professional record, 42 fights. 40 victories, including 38 knockouts. From Kiev, Ukraine, and Hamburg, Germany, the three-time heavyweight world champion, the reigning, defending, WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Dr. Iron Fist, Vitaly Klitschko. This is the heavyweight championship of the world, and I'm the referee. I spoke to you both in the dressing room. Obey my command at all times. You both know the rules. Watch them heads. Keep the punches up. When I shout break, you break clean. And remember, defend yourself at all times. Shake hands. No, I'm starting to shake hands. Shake hands. That's good. So we're ready to get it underway then. Ian John Lewis making sure that they shook hands before the fight. Wouldn't have any of that nonsense. Vitaly Klitschko against Shannon Briggs. Klitschko, the older man, but it really is a last chance now for Shannon Briggs. So, so richly talented and twice has won a version of the world title once the lineal but this will be it he wants to take him and then take his brother for the time for all of the talking is over Vitali Klitschko against Shannon Briggs good right hand from Klitschko to start off with maybe he wants to remind Briggs who that man with a 90% knockout percentage really is the Briggs has always been a very very good boxer but the crowd here know who they're behind good start this from Klitschko Briggs to have any chance has to get him on the back foot has to make him think but at least unlike one or two of his challenges he does have power there is a way he could win. He couldn't have said that about some. So dominant is the style of Vitaly Klitschko. It's almost impossible to outpoint him. You really feel you'd have to take him out. For Briggs, it might just be about using his skill to survive early and then look for a way. Somewhere around the fourth or the fifth, because the longer it goes on from the sixth onwards, you suspect that fitness will tell, and that will be Vitaly Klitschko. Briggs then has a window, but can he even get to it? Statistic of that 31st round knockouts. It's quite extraordinary for Shannon Briggs. Officially, it's 29, because one of those was a no contest. Right hand there from Vitaly Klitschko. The noise you can probably hear is coming from Briggs's corner to my right. Encouraging their man. He had 11 or 12 people in the ring with him, trying to intimidate. But now it's just the two of them. And they want him to back up Klitschko if he can. 
Klitschko takes some backing up. This is the problem when you fight Klitschko. The rounds go in the bank straight away. Looking for that right, wasn't he? Klitschko. And a man in front of Klitschko for once of considerable size and height and power. And he puts Shannon Briggs away. Ten seconds to go in round one. Klitschko's round, certainly. But it's not really about that. It's about whether Briggs can find a way into the fight. And he took some shots there, Briggs. He took them just fine. Fritz Dunek with uh, Vitali. One of the problems with Briggs is that he's only had four fights in three years, four and a half minutes of action against the likes of Rafael Pedro, Rob Calloway, Dominic Alexander, Marcus McGee. The last one was ruled a no contest as we see the action from the first round. No contest because Briggs tested positive for a banned substance, which he says was asthma medicine. I'm not suggesting for a minute he's lying, but that was the, uh, the story. Klitschko certainly won that, but Briggs certainly proved that he could take a shot, if not his best shot. Vitaly Klitschko says that he is the strongest fighter in the world and he will prove that here tonight. Against a man who did trouble Lennox Lewis for a round, certainly, back in 98. But that was back in 98. They're both a lot older now, these two. And Vitaly Klitschko is weathered somewhat better. Briggs looks in shape now, but hasn't always been the case. How much has that taken out of him? Klitschko will try and beat him from range, try and stay behind that jab. No, he doesn't dominate in that way as much as his brother does. Briggs will be looking for a shot here. He'll be looking for something to shake up Klitschko. He hasn't found anything so far. Left hook there from Klitschko was effective and found a way through. Briggs trying to get his jab going. to throw more than one of those jabs. They wanted to throw twos and threes and back up Klitschko if they can. Right hand over the top, though, from Vitali Klitschko. The eyes widen, which is normally a sign that he's looking for the big one. Briggs yet really to respond with too much. He's certainly done nothing that's seemingly bothered Klitschko. And the crowd get behind Klitschko again here. A chopping right from Klitschko. Good left hand as well. Briggs has got a decent chin up. Look for the body shot there. He's certainly getting encouragement from his corner. And he has connected a couple of times, Briggs, but... And Klitschko's just walking through it, and again he looks to chop down with that right hand. And the other problem Briggs has is that even if he does connect, Klitschko has never been down. Again, it's Klitschko, the aggressor. 30 seconds left in the second. Combination that time from Klitschko. This will start to wear down Shannon Briggs. Saved his career with that last second punch against Sergei Lyakovic. In that moment, despite the defeat to Ibrahimov in the meantime, has led to this. 
End of the second. Then we get the open scoring. If it does go to the end of the fourth, Klitschko will have won. There are just too many people uh, giving him advice there, Briggs. Has only uh, been knocked out twice, Briggs. Famously by uh, Lennox Lewis. And... Uh, Rather infamously by Daryl Wilson, one of the five defeats on his record. So he has got a tough chin, Briggs. There's no shame in saying that Lennox Lewis was too good for you. Still that controversy and the arguments always rage about Vitaly Klitschko against Lennox Lewis. Let's go ahead on the scorecards at the time, but the feeling is that the tide was turning in the fight when it was stopped. And let's concentrate on matters here. Good right from Klitschko, but Riggs counters with the left. And Klitschko is a little startled by that. Riggs almost invited that shot and then through the left. And can he do it again? Can he get any kind of impetus? Tried to throw that left hook again, but easily avoided that time by Klitschko. And they want Briggs to look to the body. They don't want him to invite too many more of those chopping rights from Klitschko. Can Briggs find a punch here? Yeah, that's what they want, that right to the body. comes forward again. I wonder if they're both tiring a little bit here. Corner certainly think that Klitschko's tired as he moves forward again here, Klitschko, but the problem is even if it, Klitschko is tired, Briggs will be more tired. The right to the body, though, from Shannon Briggs. Well, he's still in there. The dream's still on for him. Combination from Klitschko. Klitschko did seem just a little bothered and distracted before the fight. In the corner. I mean, nothing serious, but as steely as usual. A couple of jabs, though, from Klitschko. No one in the arena might want Briggs to win, but he's got proper support from his corner as Klitschko tries to unload that. And we're through another round. It's another round for Vitaly Klitschko. But there was... Tempo's OK. What about Briggs? I need that body jab. Yeah, they want that jab to the body. Tuchko wants to finish it. Do get that impression all along. But the longer it went on, the more it would suit Klitschko. There's a Briggs conditioning, and Briggs comes out and throws a right. They want him to continue that work, not make it a solitary punch, and back Klitschko up here. Couple of punches to the body from Briggs. It's good work from Klitschko. An awful lot of weight into those jarring punches there. Briggs doesn't seem unduly bothered by them. It's fascinating watching Klitschko be in there with someone 
with such quick hands and power to back them up. Just to the body there from Briggs. Ian John Lewis. Careful to stop Briggs holding on there. Good aggression though from Briggs. Kuchko knows he's in a fight here. He certainly knows he's in a fight, but he always knew that. More aggressive round from Briggs, this. Trying to make something happen rather than just counter. I bet you when they announce the scores at the end of the fourth, which goes one every round on every judge's scorecard. Briggs take Klitschko somewhere he doesn't want to go. It's what he has to do to have any chance here. Another punch to the body there, but the punches are coming in isolation from the American. Klitschko has done the better work. Again, that right hand backs up Shannon Briggs. They're convinced they can tire Klitschko out here. Right again for Klitschko, but a shake of the head from Briggs. She didn't bother me. I think the left did. Followed up with the right again. End of the round and a long... Younger brother over the shoulder there. Here's the announcement. All three judges, 40-36 in favour of Vitali Klitschko. Not a big surprise after four rounds. But here comes round five. The Briggs knows he's got to stop him. But he always knew that. Almost the bonus of uh, those announcers being in German is Briggs might not even know. That's what the announcement was. Very big frame, Briggs. The heavier man here by five kilos, and it shows. Klitschko on the front foot here at the start of round five. Biggs needs to keep having moments of joy here. It can't just be every other round. Something for the scrapbook later on in life. It's right here, right now for Shannon Briggs. Has to be. This is his last chance. Vitaly Klitschko has that iron chin, iron will to go with it. I haven't seen the fireworks that many had expected given both men's record of knockouts, but there's always a feeling it might go a bit further than the first or second given the likely style of the fight. Really good work there from Klitschko. Well, that was low from Briggs. I mean, John Lewis told him to keep it up. Looks a bit tired, Briggs. Tishko goes with the right again, and Briggs was rattled by that, if not rocked. They want Briggs to let the hands go. He just threw a right, but again, he's on its own. Klitschko trying to dominate here. As he's slowly getting on top, Vitali Klitschko.
Goes to the right again. Not getting much back here from Shannon Briggs. And Briggs comes in and does throw a right, but immediately gets punished. And now Klitschko feels that he might be able to go for the finish. Briggs needs something here. Only 10 seconds left in the round. Good left jab that time from Klitschko. That was Klitschko's best round of the fight by a long way. It's so far from him. Klitschko looks like a man who is uh, about to finish things. Keep your hands up. Nuts and guts, baby. Pick it up. Step in there and deliver. I'm trying to hear what they're saying to Briggs. Uh, keep hearing a lot from Klitschko's corner and then not very much from Briggs's. So round six, a lot of people didn't feel it would go this far. Klitschko has won every round so far, and he's looking to finish it here. Straight out with that right hand. Briggs fighting on the back foot. Briggs has to throw a shot there, trying to just get inside that reach of Klitschko. Then Klitschko with a right, straight down the middle. Klitschko opens up, of course, it makes him more vulnerable. Again, another right, and Briggs shakes his head and says it didn't hurt, which is normally a sign that it must have done. Left hand that time from Klitschko, good combination. He's certainly finding a way through now. Briggs comes in and holds, and Ian John Lewis stops that straight away. What has Briggs got? Has he got anything here? It was always going to be about finding a way, but can he? He's talked the talk brilliantly all week. And now... He seems to be running out of ideas, Shannon Briggs. A lot of very expert eyes, said Klitschko, with the stoppage in the seventh or the eighth. And he's trying to make it earlier than that. Left hook there from Klitschko, found a way through, and the accumulation of these punches must be getting to Briggs. He is very, very tough. And as long as he's in there, he's got a chance, of course. So he does have that power. Sure. Uh, David Hay will be watching this somewhere with interest. Another chopping right from Klitschko. And Briggs responds with a right hand. They want Briggs to try and uh, make him box a bit, Klitschko. And every time he comes forward, though, he gets that right hand in his face. Klitschko punishes him. And that's the conundrum at the moment for Briggs. Another right from Klitschko, another round for Klitschko. And Shannon Briggs said that plan A was... Said oh. Just seems to be more of the same and telling him he's got to work. I think he knows that. He certainly looks healthy enough. I don't think the asthma is affecting him. You gotta go to work, Tim! You gotta go to work, baby! You got to go to work! You probably hear that in the background. Uh, one of his backroom team saying you've got to go to work. 
So Klitschko has won six rounds. We've been here before, I sense. And Shannon Briggs is getting into the territory where he simply has to knock the champion out. But that was always his only way. And Klitschko again sets her up with that left and then throws the right. That's first time he's really set Briggs back. Do you think Brinks is being given far too much advice by too many different voices in his corner? At the end of it, he's the one who's got to work it out himself. And he's just not doing it at the moment. The power of Vitali Klitschko is too much. The relentlessness of it anyway. Briggs' only hope here is that Klitschko tires in the second half of the fight and that Briggs doesn't. Again, trying to get those body shots away. Again, me and John Lewis with the eagle eye. And Klitschko again with that chopping right and Briggs this time was sent backwards. That did hurt it. Catches Klitschko with the left though. Again, that right finds a way through. And Briggs was really struggling with the power there. Another left hook. Briggs may not have long here. Has to start throwing back. And a left hand again from Klitschko. These are good shots from Vitaly Klitschko. Can Briggs weather the storm as he's weathered so many in his life? Briggs is starting to look very tired all of a sudden. Starting to look 38 years of age all of a sudden. 30 seconds to go in round seven. And Tishko now lining it up. Through that big right, but Briggs just blocked it. Got five seconds to survive now. That's a big ride for Klitschko. Briggs is hurt. Briggs is hurt. Well, I thought for a moment Ian John Lewis to stop that, but he stepped in to send Klitschko back to his corner. I think just as he heard the bell, he made the right decision there, Ian John Lewis. But Briggs does not have long in this fight if it continues like that. Just let them be first. You let them tap tap you. Let them be first. That's not how you breathe, baby. Come on. Nose and mouth. Go. Breathe. He is in serious strife now. You got to let your hands go, Tap. Well, is this way you should think about pulling him out? He's starting to look an impossible fight to win. Put them together. Yeah, stop punching. You gotta put combinations together. One, two, three. Taking him back to the corner. And all the pain that Briggs is feeling ringing around his ears, the noise from the crowd as well. They just want him to go and throw now, and they won't give him long, I don't think, if there's any more punishment for Briggs. Because he was in an incredibly dark place at the end of that round. And now Klitschko goes to finish it. As he surely would have done if there'd been a minute left in the previous round. Big right there from Klitschko. Right 
once again. Briggs isn't coming back with much. The right hand and the left hook, and Briggs is trying to throw. Through the right, but didn't make contact. And Tishko's just biding his time, because the openings will come. And Briggs does look really tired now. There's none of the bombast left. He's on the end of a beating if he's not careful. Suddenly Klitschko looks a lot bigger than him. Three and a half inches has almost doubled. Briggs has shriveled and Klitschko has grown. And there's the left hand again. Wherever you're sitting, watching this, do not underestimate the bravery of Shannon Briggs here. But again, he's on the wrong end of it, backed up into his own corner for a moment there. Body shot from Klitschko, followed by the right hand. And Briggs tried to throw and was caught on the way in there. Another right from Klitschko. Briggs has got extraordinary resilience. But even he might be starting to wilt here. Well, he's been a tough opponent, but now Klitschko might be on the brink of putting him away. Final 45 seconds of round eight. No question that Klitschko's looking for the finish. He knows that's what the fans come to see. There were a few who gave Shannon Briggs a chance in this. One or two fairly loud American voices suggesting he might have the power to disrupt Vitaly Klitschko, but they keep repelling all comers, at least it looks like it. He's lasted another round. He managed to stay out of as much trouble there in round eight. But we're going to get the open scoring again, and it will be 80-72 in favour of Klitschko from every judge. He will have won every single round. Well, he's right that it was a better round, but he didn't have much to beat. Let's change a little bit here. Stay away from that fucking right hand. Start stepping to your motherfucking right. Stay away from your left side. Step to your right side now. Apologies for the language, by the way, but of course it comes with the territories, I'm sure you all know. They want him to get out of range, to not be on the end of that right hand. Good advice. There you go, 80, 72, and two times 80, 71. Okay. Double right down, and down, and then back to the right side. A couple of 10-8 rounds thrown in there. You got to go to work. They're looking to stop the fight, Shannon. You got to let your hands go. Briggs follow the advice he was given. And start stepping out of range. Four rounds to go. This one starts as the others have with a right hand over the top from Klitschko. As he applies the pressure, he still looks for the knockout blow. Winning the rounds and trying to finish it all at the same time. Left hook from Klitschko. Briggs' his favourite punch, that. In his 
career he has almost slept walked through fights and then woken up in the last part of them but this hasn't been sleepwalking this has been Briggs sharp but just senses dulled by the pressure that he's always under in this ring Left to the face there from Klitschko. Hasn't managed to put him under as much pressure as he did at the end of the eighth. In either of the subsequent rounds, although that was a good shot, good combination. Ian John Lewis having a word with the corner right in front of me and telling him to stop swearing, which is much appreciated certainly by me. Manny and John Lewis, very experienced. Certainly brings more than a touch of class to proceedings. Briggs just managed to stay out of range here, but of course it's not getting him a foothold in the fight. Right from Tichko as he just ups the gas again and again. And again from Klitschko. Chopping down on Briggs. Just once again starts to breathe a bit heavier and look under pressure. It's another good right from Klitschko. Backs Briggs up and tries to fight back, but it's caught again there, Briggs. Another good right from Klitschko. How long can this go on? Ten seconds to go in round nine. Ian John Lewis having a good look at Briggs there. Really good look. But he's going to make it to the end of the round. Brave from Briggs. The heat was turned up. But he's still on his feet. But how much chance could you give him now? It's the old cliche about the puncher's chance, I guess. People keep lining up to knock the Italian Vladimir Klitschko. They may not be the most thrilling. But no one could get anywhere near the. They truly dominate this division. That's that point, isn't it? Single shots all the time from Briggs. Put them together and load up. You gotta stop getting hit with that right hand. You see it coming, don't you? Okay, stop getting hit with that right hand. Well, he's still bright and confident. What they're fighting for. So round ten. Three rounds to go. Good right on the temple to start the round from Klitschko. Shook Briggs up right at the start of the round. And he throws that right. Casado said you do see it coming, telling him to avoid it, but he's just not looking like he's seeing it coming. Briggs talking to himself now. Damn that right. Just can't get out of the way of it. It's the punch that's really punishing Briggs. Followed by the left hook there. Just unloading those big rights, Klitschko. And throws the right, but then Briggs thinks he's got that covered. He's got the option of that left hook as well. It's classic stuff for Briggs. Throwing as he was going back there. 
Prisco with another combination. Body shot and then went for the big right and Briggs looked like his legs were a bit unsteady there and once again Ian John Lewis has a good look and this time there's a minute and a half to go. Another big right from Klitschko. Left hook, right hand from Klitschko. Briggs is right on the brink and another big right from Klitschko. I don't know how Briggs is still on his feet. Still saying it's not hurting him. Briggs managed to throw a right there. Left from Klitschko. Again that chopping right hand that Briggs can't avoid. He did that time, but then... Klitschko caught him as he was going back out. 45 seconds to go in round 10. Massive display of bravery, this by Shannon Briggs. That was dangerously close to a low punch. It's too easy a target, Briggs. He's almost too brave. Two left hands, and you can see him almost stagger backwards there, Briggs. Very tired. All he has is a puncher's chance now, Briggs. Two rounds to go. And Ian John Lewis has a long look at the corner as well, wondering how long they'll let their man continue. He went to sit on his stool and it wasn't there. Just look at the pictures in both corners here if we get a chance. There's Vitaly Klitschko, not really marked. Shannon Briggs struggling desperately, breathing heavily. I've been impressed by his conditioning, though, because it's uh, it's been tough, but he's clearly trained as hard as he said. Lost every round, Briggs. It's nice to having a conversation there about pulling him out potentially. Briggs just said, I can still win this fight. And he see the dream starting to die? Convinced himself he could win and is now finding out that maybe he can't. Does he have one final cannonball to throw here? Shannon Briggs. Just worn down as so many Klitschko opponents are. Plenty of Ukrainians in the crowd. They come to support their man and then swap the ring once the fight is over. That's the pattern. Constantly got that right hand cocked. He's so obviously waiting for that punch, and there's nothing that Briggs can do about it. Four jabs there into the face of Shannon Briggs. Well, they're telling Briggs to let his hands go, and whenever he does, he doesn't seem to make any impact. Whereas Klitschko, chopping his man down.
Maybe it's just about surviving now and saying that you stayed on your feet with him. Well, this is a man who doesn't want Pyrrhic victories, he wants real ones. He'll still believe somewhere that he can win. Jab there from Briggs. At no point does he look close to dominating even a minute of this fight. to get in range to hurt him and whenever you do he hurts you it's an age-old conundrum long levers of Klitschko reach into the face again of Briggs but it looks like he is going to take it to the final round Cut on the lip now, Briggs. But it will go to round 12. And his corner will doubtless remind Shannon Briggs of the Lyakovic fight when he was losing and won it in the final second. But this is very, very different. This could easily be a clean sweep for Klitschko. Every round on every card. In fact, it will be. Last round, Jeff! All right, Daddy. Last round, baby. Come on. Okay. Gotta throw that overhand right. You hit him with it in the round before this one. Throw the overhand right. Okay? Well, you heard it there. From Caicedo, throw the overhand right. Set it up. Your hand's too low to throw it. There is a corner that's just a picture of confidence and strength. Surely nothing is going to stop this man again, Vitali Klitschko. Surely in about three minutes' time, four minutes' time, we'll have the celebrations. So, barring the miracle of all miracles, Vitaly Klitschko is three minutes away from extending his remarkable record, although not with a knockout, unless. He's trying to get in range to throw that overhand right. Right there from Klitschko. <laughs> Throwing a little wildly there, Briggs. Klitschko still going in on the target. Still feeling he can get a stoppage in the 12th here. Briggs has got nowhere near landing that overhand right, and in fact, Klitschko lands his, and again. He and John Lewis had a close look once more and keeps looking. Briggs says, I'm not hurt. Minute and a half to go in the fight, chopping right again from Klitschko. Briggs is so brave. Another right there, Briggs, and then a left. Two lefts in quick succession. Real punishment now for Briggs. And a left and a right. Combination after combination here. Ian John Lewis is excellent and he will stop it if he has to. 
Briggs is showing just enough to stay in there. Chopping right once more. 30 seconds to survive. Very right through the right there, Briggs. And then everything he throws, Tichko comes back. Time and again. Dream is dying for Shannon Briggs. Tichko's not going to get the knockout. Ten seconds left, but he is going to get the win. And it will be massively convincing. He has won every round. And he has won it convincingly. Vitali Klitschko retains his heavyweight world title. Demolition of Shannon Briggs. We need the announcement to confirm it, but there is no question, not just that he's won, but no question that he's won every round. Briggs was brave and... There's one thing you'll take away from tonight, it's a memory of just how brave. But Klitschko, you can call him robotic, you can call him limited, but until someone goes in there and can put him under pressure, you have to call him world champion. He must be good at something, mustn't he? Shannon Briggs, I'm afraid it was too late. He's been 26 again, then who knows? And he's done incredibly well to achieve what he has with his uh, medical condition. Just dominant, very dominant, terrifyingly dominant, Vitali Klitschko. Big smiles from him. Of course, this is a measure of just how dominant he was, because there's not... <laughs> Barely no drama about the scorecards, because it will be uh, every round. We just need to wait for them to be handed in and wait for Michael Buffer to make the announcement. Well, he was brave. But bravery only gets you so far, I'm afraid. <laughs> Well, they line up challenges who think they can uh, beat him, but now he's won the title back and now successfully defended five times. Gomez, Ariola, Johnson, Sosnowski, and now Shannon Briggs. So we uh, just have this wait, which must be agony for him. But there's uh, Vitaly Klitschko just going to each corner of the ring, each corner of the arena, as he always does. He's always got smiles for individual members of the audience. This great traveling Ukrainian fan club. He does know how to play a crowd, he really does. Most of the Ukrainian flags, I think, are in the area he's just pointing. This is why he's such great box office, and you can see Shannon Briggs just next to him. He's getting the face clean. You have really good man. Big, huge heart. So big, like himself. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. 
You heard it there. Really good man, big, huge heart, so big he'd hurt himself. But here's Michael Buffer. To 107. And it Hong Kong Kong scores at 120 to 105. All three scores go to the winner by unanimous decision. And still, WBC heavyweight champion of the world from Kiev and Hamburg, Dr. Iron Fist Pintoli. Well, one of the judges gave it 120, 105. The other two, 120, 107. It was a demolition. And it's hard to argue with any of those margins. Such was the power. And let's hope there is so, uh, some applause here for Shannon Briggs is being asked for.